I like being a lab rat. I like being in the lab and, you know, trying to answer questions. I'm Dr. Marcy Wiggins. I am an assistant conservation scientist and the Diana Love Chen Fellow at Yale IPCH. Uh, I work in the technical studies lab and I am a woman in science. In the technical studies lab, we work with all of the collections at Yale, which is really exciting because we get to see pieces like Assyrian reliefs in the morning and modern paintings in the afternoon. There are so many wonderful things at Yale that we get to help contribute to better understanding them, especially from the material standpoint and material characterization. So a project that I've been working on that I'm really excited about recently came to us from the Yale Center for British Arts. They have an upcoming exhibition focused on artists in the British East India Company, um, and this is around the 18th century, and looking at artists that are both um, based in India and in Britain, and how, from the material standpoint, there's um, possibly cross connections going um, on. So one of the materials that are, is of interest to us is a pigment known as Indian yellow. So Indian yellow is really unique and rare in a way. It's not manufactured anymore. It is made from the urine of cows that have only been fed mango leaves. How do we definitively say if we have it or not? We have to use Raman spectroscopy. And so this gives us, instead of elemental information, molecular information based on a fingerprint spectra where we're matching up uh, to a reference material, we do know we have Indian yellow. And so that's been really exciting being able to verify that on a couple different case studies for this upcoming exhibition. Having a good network and mentorship is really key. Um, while I was in grad school, I was focused in chemistry, but I had a really good support network at the Winterthur Museum, specifically in their scientific lab. Um, so the team there, Jocelyn Alcantara Garcia, Catherine Matson, Rosie Grayburn, Judy Rudolph, all of them were just wonderful to s support me and help me through that journey. And it was something I really needed as I was trying to, to balance this world of both chemistry and conservation. Um, and so they were wonderful and I encourage everyone to try to find that support network. Early on, I found this really niche field in a way, and I think there are a lot of really small niche fields. So if you're interested in STEM, but you don't know the exact path you wanna take, or you have slightly different interests, it actually probably exists and it's out there. It's just a matter of finding it. So don't be afraid to carve your own way. There are so many paths forward and you can find it. <laughs>